Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video we are going to talk about how to get started with electronics and microcontrollers and you can see Odin is very excited about this and that thing is falling apart. But anyway, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started, what tutorials you can find online, resources and just everything. So let's get started. If you are a university student learning electronics, most likely you are going to use this textbook, Microelectronics and Circuit Analysis, written by Donald A. Neiman. Now, this is a very popular book in university, but I will say this is too much detailed. You will learn a lot about the physics and maths behind the components, how does the internal parts of the components work. So, for example, if we click on semiconductor, You'll see it will talk about the compound of a semiconductor. It will have a lot of like the silicon atoms and crystals. This is too complicated. If you're just starting with electronics and you want to do this as a hobby, I will not recommend using a university textbook. Now the book I will recommend to you is this Getting Started in Electronics by Forrest M. Mims, which is like a very cool style where everything is drawn by hand and it looks like notes that was taken. And you can see here again, it will go through the electricity, how does electricity work, and also electronic components. And then here it will still cover semiconductors. But if you focus on this electric components, that should be good enough to get you started. So if we scroll down a little bit here, let's just skip chapter one. And you will see the part I want to get to is here. For example, how does a resistor work, a capacitor, a button, a switch, a wire, what is a breadboard? All those things you can learn from this book. So I will recommend you start with this book first. Now, if you don't want to read a book, you can also just go watch a bunch of YouTube videos. There's a lot of creators that will make videos on, for example, how does this breadboard work? How does it connect in the inside and so much more. So you don't have to read the book. Just go search on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTubers available that makes cool electronic videos and I will make maybe a write-up and list a few channels. I'm planning to do it myself in the future, so make sure to subscribe not to miss that. Now, picking the right microcontroller. Again, in university, you might learn about the 8051 and you might use assembly to code it. But if you're a hobbyist and you just want to build cool things and you're not going to be an embedded software engineer one day, then I will say there's two main things you can look at. The one is going to be the Raspberry Pi Pico or the other one is going to be Arduino development boards or all the other boards that is compatible with the Arduino environment, including the Raspberry Pi Pico. The reasons why I recommend these boards is that the majority of DIY videos on YouTube is based around these ones because it has so many libraries and a big community that it will be easy for you to get started. Now, if you want to get started with the Raspberry Pi Pico, you can check on my channel. I have done a getting started video and I have done a lot of tutorials. There's also a lot of other channels doing Arduino videos. The last thing I want to talk about is finding inspiration for your projects. Now, if you have this big idea and you don't know where to start, most likely somewhere on the internet someone has built something similar so if you have seen there i said great artists borrow and excellent artists will steal now just steal the project most of the time everything is open source and you can just change it and adapt it to make something that you want to now if you're going to make tutorial videos or just copy someone's work at least give them some bit of credit I always try to give credit in my videos as well. And I am planning to actually build some projects that other YouTubers have made because I want to build it myself and see if I can improve on it and also just give some feedback. And I will make sure to list the original YouTuber. Now, that's maybe a little bit off topic. Now, for websites like this, I will say there's a lot available. And here's just a few that you can go have a look at. The first one we have here is Instructables and if you go to Instructables you can go to Circuits and here you can find a lot of DIY projects where people will either use the Arduino or Raspberry Pi Pico. 
Now another one will be hackadayi.io and this is maybe a bit more complicated projects, maybe a little bit more advanced than the ones you can find on Instructables, but still a very good place to go look at. And then here, if you go to the Raspberry Pi, the official Raspberry Pi magazine, the Magpie, they have issues that comes out every month for free. Now this will not have anything about the Arduino and it will mostly be on the Raspberry Pi computer or Raspberry Pi Pico, but there will be a lot of cool projects and some tutorials. And looking here, this one has essential electronics as well. So again, there's so many resources on how to get started with electronics and microcontrollers. Now the last thing you want to do is go buy an electronics kit. You can buy all the components individually online, but it will be better if you just buy a kit that will have a lot of sensors and the microcontroller that you want to use. Now, me personally, because I'm affiliated with this company, I would recommend this SunFounder Kepler kit, which has a lot of sensors and is based on a Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, they also do have Arduino kits, and there is other companies as well that you can use, like Alagu and I think even Seed Studio and Alacro. There's a lot of companies that do sell these kits. In general, they all should be good. Um, I have not had any problems with these big companies when you buy electronics from them. So in short, what I'm trying to say in this video is that if you start electronics in 2025, there are so many resources available. We have not even talked about ChatGPT and how it can help you also build projects with helping you with the code and so many things. So in short, if you are starting with electronics this year, best of luck. And if you need any help or questions, you can always reach out to me on YouTube or the Discord channel that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.